Hello everyone. Uh, today I will introduce you to a very important tool uh, in Map Info, with which you can actually do a lot of things like uh, frequency check, frequency plan, uh, neighbor relation check, and river relation addition, deletion, optimization. Also, you can you will be able to check the KPI, the war cells. And uh, for like 2G, 3G, you can check the 3G neighbors, 3G, 3G neighbors, and also you can check the PSC, even 4G, PCI, 4G neighbors. With this map info tool, actually, you can do a lot of things, and it's very fascinating to use this tool, actually. So let me, let's not waste any time, and let's start uh, at the tool. Let me introduce the tool. So this is the mainly actually the tool. And this is my RFGSM. Uh, I will share you the link on the zip file in the uh, in the file info below. So this is actually we need to keep it in the C drive. And inside this, uh, there are a few folders and files, which is actually the templates. I will show you. Um, like this is the application mainly. And this is the my RFGSM application. Uh, we have to import it in uh, Map Info tool. I will show you later on. So for this today, I will show you only the GSM part because it's a big um, procedure, and I will show you one part of it. And later on in the other videos, I will show you the other ones because uh, we, we if you go slowly, you can understand better. So in this file, mainly we for the 2G 2G part, mainly we will need these three files. And uh, when we import in Map Info, we need to import mainly the database and and uh, neighbor file as a text file. So uh, from Excel file, actually you can make these files. I will show you the Excel files. You, uh, I have already put it in the template file folder. So you can check like uh, if you go to the site database. So you will see that actually what is the content of this uh, site database is actually just like normal map info file. But if the more you put, the more table you put, the more information you can see through map info. So this actually the uh, as usual normal table site name, cell name, code, flag. If you want to show the sites or not then this is the long lat um, this is the type of uh, cells and type of sites you can put in here if, if you put blank that's okay not a problem you can put antenna model antenna bandwidth azimuth tilt mechanical tilt electrical tilt height and from the frequency dump also you can download the frequencies and you can put in here like ncc bcc bcch uh, basic then you can put the myo list and you can also put the ml list lag correct different type of information you can put so i have just made a template uh, to show you just how it works later on from network you can download your network files or site database and you can prepare this excel file and you have to save it as uh, like uh, text delimited mm, uh, yeah tab delimited tab delimited text file okay you when you save you save as your file will be like like this one okay this is the site database and if you double click it will show like this okay and same like neighbor we go to the neighbor file neighbor database it's very simple uh, from the uh, uh, from your OSS, you can download your neighbor file. Then you can put the like serving cell, serving cell ID, lag, BSC, the band. It's optional. Then you put the same things for the target cells. And moreover, the uh, main uh, interesting thing that you can also put this type of information like end over request, end over success, HOSR, end over success rate and we recommend that you don't put the distance in in this file uh, you can put it zero or you can keep it blank uh, because uh, if you put this uh, uh, value 
then it might take some time or even from the tool you can also calculate the distance but it takes a time to load the file so it's it's not mandatory to uh, keep the distance uh, here let's keep it blank or maybe you can give it zero but whenever you click for the i will show you later on and then if you click the neighbors it will automatically show the distance it will calculate then so you don't have to manually do it so mandatory fields are like these things this also you can uh, keep it blank not necessarily that you have to put these values you can just put it one one and hundred percent everything or zero whatever it is you can put this is not mandatory so same thing like that it will be save you keep it as text file you save as text file like this one okay then another file is the 2g kpi you can also um, show the 2g kpi is also in the map info file like you can fill up this CSSR CDR busy hour you can fill up these uh, uh, these values and I will show you later on how can you check from map info uh, the worst uh, CDR so which are the worst CDR cells um, it will show you in map info okay so this one actually you can keep it as Excel file so you can uh, import it as Excel so now I will show you uh, how to uh, in map info how we can import and check uh, the files so we go to the application so me this this is the main application um, uh, we need uh, to import in map info so we go to map info we can add because we will need it regularly so it's better we can double click on the application the application will be open but that will be so for one time only but for permanent usage we can uh, add it manually like uh, i have already done it you can name as you need like if you go to add tool you can give a title like rfgsm or something like that as you wish you can show the location where the file the application is situated like this one and the, uh, and if you press ok it will show you uh, like i have already because i have already added, like only i have named it out of gsm then you put it loaded you check these boxes and if you show you will see these uh, tabs have already shown up so like there are five tabs like this one is for 2g this one is for the 2g kpis this is for the microwave this is for wcdma 3g and this is for lt so today i will show you only the gsm part later on i will show you the 3g and lt part also in other videos so um, like we have already loaded so let's start working so firstly we have to import the site database so we click click import these are the text files like in crf gsm we have created this database so we open it we click on override then the gsm site database will be loaded okay ready to start you click on ready to start so these are the test sites we have created um, through excel and text files so uh, like uh, one thing is that i want to show you i have already created only one band like like gsm 900 you can also put uh, gsm 1800 or for gsm usually we put 900 or 1800 so if we put gsm 900 or 1800 both the bands will be shown here like if it is eight, there 1800 you will show a separate band here it's very interesting so let's see uh, let's load the neighbor file also import neighbor database this is the neighbor database we click open we click override here's the Im very important notice is that do you want to calculate the distance of the neighbors if yes it will take long time to process so we click no because it will take a long time to calculate each cell with each neighbor 
before starting the tour so it is not recommended to click yes because i will show you later on when we click one by one it will automatically show the distance so we click no and the neighbor database will be loaded very quickly um, it will not take so much much time okay so neighbor database is ready so actually how can we check the neighbor so what we have to do we show you there's already there are shortcuts you can memorize these shortcuts also you can click on this suppose you want to check the neighbor of this cell so what we have to do we first we need to click on this cell that the neighbor we want to check then we go to the menu the rfgsm then we click nb checking or shift plus n we click it you see the neighbor is visible here so it's very very uh, fascinating it's very interesting so like uh, like these are the, the values we are showing is actually the hosr these are 100 percent 98 percent you can show now like you want to opt if you want to optimize uh, the neighbor um, neighbor cells like here the neighbor is very little so like you want to add this neighbor to this cell or this neighbor or this neighbor you can easily do it like click on this cell then either click uh, either click here like add nb or shift a so you click on it you will see you will see this uh, you see a dotted line with this color means this will be added a work request is generating against it and you see the uh, it's already manually calculating the distance from it so you don't need to calculate before the tool has started and also uh, suppose i want to add this one also okay like i i put shift a as a shortcut keyboard so if you memorize the shortcut keyboard it's very it will be faster now i want to suppose remove for example remove this neighbor for example so either i put shift d or i can delete neighbor i can click on delete neighbor you will see this neighbor will be deleted see a dot line is created so this neighbor is deleted so so uh, what we have to do we cannot do it just directly so we need to export this and uh, this optimization file and create a work request actually uh, my network is Huawei so I have um, generated the script according to them but the uh, export file is the same so we click on export in B plan we give a prefix whatever it is suppose xxxxxx uh, we can put the cell names or site names we are optimizing on it's up to you what you put so we and the uh, file will be saved on c my gsm export data then nb okay so click ok then we go to that folder this is the export data nb you see this file has been generated okay so let's see what's uh, inside it um, this, uh, I want to show you one thing and another thing that I have put I have uh, made a script generator and this is for the Huawei actually because my network is Huawei so what you can do if you can uh, if you put this file here I will open it in Excel this is actually the export file like we have added two neighbors and deleted one neighbor right so these are the two uh, these are the excel the neighbor optimization we have done so if you copy if you are in in huawei network you can easily generate the script you just copy this to the uh, excel file that i have made you put it in here paste it the, these are the forward neighbors like serving and target it because uh, the uh, the map info generates only the one way so these are the 
second way both way and you drag these two scripts so you just copy the script and copy the scripts and uh, run it in u2000 or u2020 your neighbors will be added so this is as simple as that so it's very easy and a very convenient way to actually uh, to check and uh, see the neighbors so i hope that it's very helpful for you it will be very helpful and you can optimize your neighbors very easily so later on the videos i will show you how to check the frequency plan how you can optimize the frequency plan also the kpis and uh, how you can check the wcdma lt and also uh, my crave also so keep on watching and please do subscribe our channel because more interesting videos are coming so keep in touch we will uh, we will keep you updated and i think our videos will help you in future optimization also thank you